Bugsy Malone and the Olivier Award winning In The Heights. Just two of the hit musical productions with star choreographer Drew McConey's name in the credits. He now delivers his latest baby to the old Vic, a reimagining of the classic tale Jekyll and Hyde. What many people probably, you know, might not know is that, you know, dance was really, really a big thing here at the Old Vic. You know, it was where many of the country's greatest companies launched from. And so being able to bring, a, a, you know, a major dance production back to this incredible space at the Old Vic is something that I, I feel hugely privileged uh, and, and, and kind of terrified about. Robert Louis Stevenson's 1886 novella has seen numerous stage and film adaptations and inspired the young choreographer to reimagine it as a dance thriller. I went through the book um, with these kind of key narrative points that I wanted to solve within it and realised that actually a lot of the story um, can be told in a very visual way. So um, I have to say that I've used the original book as a launching point rather than something I've stayed really, you know, very, very kind of particular to. And I've dealt with the transformation um, in very early in the show. So the rest of the show deals with uh, what, um, what happens to a man who has the ability to transform and what kind of knock-on effects it has to him and his relationships, both romantic and social. Now, so you've set it in the, in the 50s, but you have some very contemporary references, including the Chelsea Flower Show. That's right, yeah. I think it's because I, um, I feel a responsibility as a, as a young, you know, uh, choreographer to be able to find ways of making these stories relevant to as many people as possible. And that's not to say to dilute the um, and make it all kind of general. It's to be able to set it in a time where um, we feel like we can relate to it. <laughs> I never want to create something that I've already created. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying being, you know, uh, in a place in my career where people don't know what to expect from me yet. And I, I hope I can still be sitting here talking to you when I'm in my 50s and say, yeah, people still don't know what to expect. I mean, that, that, that would be the dream. You can meet Jekyll and Hyde at the Old Vic until Saturday. Brandrew Manus, BBC London News.